In this video lesson, we will learn how to find the equation for a line that is perpendicular to a given line and that passes through a given point. We'll do this by solving an example. Let's say we have the function y equals 2x plus 1. And we are given the point 2 comma 0. So before we find the perpendicular line, let's graph what we have. We will start by making a table of values of x and their corresponding y values. Remember, we are doing this so that we have two points that we can graph our line with. Of course, if x is 0, then y equals 1. You can also just remember this as the y-intercept. If we plug in x equals 1, we get y equals 2 times 1 plus 1, which is just 3. This gives us two points from which we can make the line, which is the graph of the function. 0, 1 is 1 above the origin, and 1, 3 is 1 to the right of, and 3 above the origin. Now we can use a ruler to connect these two points. And here we have the line. Now we will just put arrows on both ends and label it. Oh, and fix this little erase here. All right, so the arrows. And of course, y equals 2x plus 1 is the label of the function. Now, the problem is not asking for a graph of this line, but rather it's asking for the equation of the line that's perpendicular. And it has to go through the point 2, 0, which I have just drawn. 2 to the right of the origin. With the dotted line, I have drawn what this function should look like approximately, but we don't know for sure what it looks like yet, and we don't know its formula. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, its formula is going to be y equals some number times x plus another number which we usually write as y equals mx plus b for some constants. And the rule for, rule for finding perpendicular lines is that the product of their slopes is always equal to negative 1. So in this case, we are given the slope 2, and the slope of the line we are looking for, m, multiplied by 2 equals negative 1. In general, if you have two lines with slope 1 and slope 2, whatever they may be, slope 1 times slope 2 is equal to negative 1 if the lines are perpendicular. So in our case, we have 2m equals negative 1, and if we divide by 2 on both sides, this gives us that m equals negative a half. So we already know something about our line. So we can replace the m in the formula with a negative 1 half. So how do we find b? It's the last thing we need to know. Well, we can use the point that is given that the line must go through. This point tells us that x equals 2 and y equals 0 should give a truthful quality when plugged into the formula. So we plug in, there's y equals 0, equals negative a half times x equals 2, plus b. This simplifies to 0 equals negative 1 plus b. So of course, b must equal to positive 1. So now we can replace it in our formula with 1. So this gives us the formula, and this is the correct answer. 
but just to make sure, let's make a graph. So, as before, we will take two points. We already know that the point 2, 0 should lie on this graph, but just to make sure, we'll plug in x equals 2 and see what y equals 2. So x equals 2, and we know that y equals 0, but let's just make sure negative a half times 2 plus 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 1 is just 0. So we have one point, and that's 2, 0. For the second point, we can just plug in x equals 0. This gives us y equals to just 1, which we also know because 1 is the y-intercept of our function. So now we have two points. One of them is already drawn, and 0, 1 is just 1 above the origin, and we can use a ruler to connect these points. So here it is. And there's the line. And sure enough, it is perpendicular. Now, it might not look perfectly perpendicular as it is now, but that is only because our drawing was imperfect. But thank you for watching this video lecture.